Hi everyone. This video is an introduction into Synchro's custom forms. You will need to have a Synchro Control project, so if you don't have one already, you will need to create one or go and ask your project administrator to create one for you. To create or access the project, you will go to construction.bentley.com and log in using your Bentley IMS credentials. This will bring us to the My Project page with a list of all our projects. From here, we can create or select a project. Once the project is selected, it's going to bring us to the project homepage. We're looking for custom form creation, so we will select administration. Assuming you have the form editor permission on the project, you'll be able to see this manage forms option. If not, you will need to reach out to the project admin to give you access. From here, we can see all the template forms that come with a new project. To create a new custom form, select the new button. This will bring us to the form define page where we will define the form characteristics. Name is the title of the form, which is a max of 22 characters, but we can make this longer on the design form page if needed. Prefix is used to generate a unique identification number once the form has been created. A max of four uppercase alphabetic characters is allowed. Type has 25 out of the box form types. We can also create a new custom type as needed. The form type acts as a container for the form workflow. So when picking the type for your new form, you want to keep in mind the workflow that is required. Note that the workflow will be shared with other forms with the same type. Any changes to the workflow will carry over to those other forms as well. Design template allows users to use an existing form template to build their custom form from. Once all these fields are populated, click save. This will create a draft version of the form, which allows us to edit or make changes to the form. Once the form is published, it's available to be filled out and used in the field. If we want to make any changes to the format of the form, we will need to push it back to the draft status to make those changes. If a form is not required anymore, we can use the archive status. This will remove the form from use, but we will still be able to reference any of the already created forms of this type. Also, archive forms will not be included if we make a template out of this project. Now let's select next and it will bring us to the design form page, which we will review in the next video.